You're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. <laughs> We're going to have a surreal dinner with the family tonight, aren't we? Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? I'm gonna make an observation here that kind of just occurred to me. Never thought about this before. Is like sort of coercing people, like passively aggressive, coercingly, passively aggressively coercing people into having dinner. Is that like some white middle class form of I don't know <laughs> domination or something? <laughs> like seriously, if someone doesn't want to eat. I can't, it's, it's it's unthinkable to me. If someone's acting awkward and even says I'm not even hungry, the idea of, of just like pressuring them into having dinner with you sounds like the most horrible and uncomfortable thing you could possibly do. Why would you want to have dinner with someone who doesn't even want to have dinner with you? Obviously doesn't. Like what the hell? Just feels passive aggressive. At least we get to look around their home, though. Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. I'm supposed to set the table. Let's do that last. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I'm glad I gave him the cash. Oh. I guess, I keep forgetting his name, but I guess the dad has a file on him because he's the district attorney. Um, let's see. Point of interest, POI, the mill, converted lumber mill, slash club north of town. Suspected of larceny, extortion, distribution, assault, robbery, murder. Associated with Frank and Rodney Sears. That was the bouncer at the place. Interesting. And Sarah is linked to Frank. Then Peter Gillespie and Shelton Pike, those are the two assholes that were at the club.
Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. They say all news is local, but damn. Largest fire in Arcadia history frightens residents and baffles authorities. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Mikey's okay, though. Congrats to the wonderful cast and crew. So sorry I missed out, guys. That was Steph. Mm, I'm so sorry, Julia. Twice sorry you don't control the fire. Or do you? <laughs> Chloe held it down like a champ. Hey, Steph, any updates on Mikey? Recovering. Okay. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. How to incognito tab. 40s plus healthy lifestyle. 40s plus healthy lifestyle, district attorney, golf sale. How boring. Oh, let's just give me a new conversation topic. Hmm. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here, and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <sighs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. Once again, it makes me think of Laura from Twin Peaks. You know, from the outside, not only do they look like the perfect person, but their family too. In fact, I think the father in Twin Peaks was some sort of a... Yeah, there was some sort of a lawyer. Working for the Great Northern Hotel, I think. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. They're staring into my soul, judging me. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. God, they're so dull. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Why? 
especially him, especially James. Okay, I keep forgetting his name. So freaking generic. <laughs> Why did James want me to have dinner so much? Aside from just the passive aggressive thing, like, does he have an end game? Is he? I don't know what. Like, what is he trying to do? He obviously, like, detests me or hates me or is suspicious of me or something. Time to set the table, I guess. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Solved it. <laughs> Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. You're gonna graffiti it? Right behind Rose's back? All right. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. I mean, she'd bust you if she sees it. Like, ever. I mean, it's not like she's not going to see it for, like, years or something. She'll notice it in a couple minutes if she doesn't notice it right away. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. True. True. Hey, Bryce. Sorry about what I said earlier. You're only trying to help. No way. I'm sorry, Drew. Had no idea what to do. That was so fucked. It's okay. Mike is alright. I'm alright. Also. Uh, also, he says thanks. Tell him I said hey. Will do. And Steph. Mm, let's see. I uh, heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show is awesome. You get medals for two good deeds today. But Mikey's okay. Drew will text you an update in a bit. Oh shit. Tell them both I'm pulling for him. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. The more things you learn to like, the happier you will be. These people are so vapid. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. That's an original who gives a shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Well, before we set the table, let's go ahead and speak with Rose. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. Well, Rose is nowhere, n seems nowhere near as vapid and boring as 
James, was it? So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very... persuasive together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Integrity... Honesty. Loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Those are some strong words. You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh my god. Chloe, you're gonna ruin it. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. This is the table, right? Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Oh, maybe I need to grab the dishes first, huh? Yeah, there we go. It's off to the table with you. Mom. Uh oh. Chloe? Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. Be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe. I miss you. Oh yeah, I just realized how late it is, so... 10.47, so... Yeah, it's really late in the day. It's really late in the day. How late was that performance? Dang. They're just having dinner almost... Almost at midnight. Still can't get the glasses. Um... This minigame's harder than I thought. What do I need, like, utensils? Can I get any utensils? Well, what am I missing? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose 
is going on. Hmm. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks? Okay. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. This is the most awkward family dinner. Uh... It's the triangle shape one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Did she just rub it on her ass just to spite him? Nice. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle, right? <laughs> you are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and less this joint up a bit. There's no way Rose didn't get why I would have a lighter on me at all times. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Oh, right, we're suspended. I mean, they know that, they were in there. Hmm. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. 
I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Ugh. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Ooh, I can attack James. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that's super true. Uh, and also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel? Uh, I don't think we can avoid it at this point. Distracting? Is distracting really gonna work? Nah, fuck it. Let's just go all in. We're done. Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, you blow me, Rachel. <laughs> Chloe, stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. <laughs> Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Shadow settle on the place that you left. Our minds are troubled by puppy. the emptiness. Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time. From the perfect start to the finish line. And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs 
Setting fire to our insides for fun Collecting names of the lovers that went wrong The lovers that went wrong Well, I did not see that coming at all. Rachel's adopted. Well. Between the confrontation there and that revelation, I guess our uh, plans to run out of this place are probably going to be put on hold for a bit. I wonder where they're going to go from here. Especially Chloe. I mean, Rachel, you know, has a place to, to be. Chloe kind of does, but like, she's really, really, really not going to want to go back there. Not with David there, especially. And I guess that also, well, it absolutely explains why Sarah was hanging around and like watching them all the time. They were watching Rachel because they're their daughter. I'm glad that Rachel didn't get kidnapped into some van or something. Jesus Christ. All right, well, I think I'll end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with episode three.
Wow, look at this. I am clearly in the minority when it comes to what options I chose for all these. Most of the time I'm in the majority, but yeah, all four of these. This one, I'm the 21% here. Went along with Rachel's story, taking the blame. 38% refused to empty your pockets. I'm surprised so many people empty their pockets. I'm with the 35% who gave Damon the money. So most people stayed in there with Mikey. And this one, I guess this one's pretty predictable. Most people ask Rachel for a kiss. Which honestly, I mean, like, I want them to kiss. Because it just would be adorable. <laughs> but, I don't know. The bracelet felt, felt more appropriate. You can go ahead and take a look at all these options if you want. I'll leave it on screen for like 10 seconds or so. Well, I'll see you on the next episode.